Hi friends, Andy Vegan. I make a juice today and it's a beet juice. I made many, it's my, one of my favorite juices. Here I show you my beet roots, earth flavors, high sugar. But the question is how to get the sugar out of the earth. The earth flavors that hide the sugar. And if I add fruit, all the aromas unfold. I don't know any other plant that makes so amazing different flavors. You wouldn't believe it's beet. Uh, but I have beet with the leaves. Yeah, there's a got the beet here with some leaves and stems. You see down there are the leaves. Yeah, you see like here. Maybe you can see some leaves green. Yeah, the beet leaves, the beet greens are also nice to juice. And today I have the fruit to open up the flavors. I have a triple here, a trio, a very common one, apple, pear, number two and one. Yeah, two cups each, around the same amount, doesn't really matter, about around the same amount, and oranges. So very common triple, and this juice by itself is amazing. It's suitably nicely balanced, sweet and sour, and a little bit bitter, and then the creaminess from the pears, wonderful. And I tried it with the beet today, that's one thing. And the other thing I want to try is I add a, a big bunch of basil. It's a wake-up herb. Wake up, that means the children at school are tired, they give them the stems of the basil to chew on. There's a substance in the basil that makes the, the brain wake up. And it's a wonderful flavor. And today I try it with beet, because the beet is open to many flavors. It creates these, yeah, as I said. And let's see what, uh, what the basil does to it. And then I have my usual two um, boosters here, uh, lemon and ginger. Yeah. They um, intensify the other flavors. They don't add so much as an own flavor in many cases. and just um, make the flavors, the other flavors more, yeah, more, um, yeah, present, yeah. So I begin and I come back when the juice is done. Here it is, almost a liter. And on a fasting day, that's a good meal. I drink it slowly, as on a fasting day, I don't take fiber, virtually, and I reduce calories, so the body has a different energy um, produ production, generation, it um, burns ketones, smaller molecules than usually sugar in fruit, and the digestion rests, so I drink it, and it goes directly to the bloodstream. A lot of nutrients, some nutrients, okay, remain with the fiber, I have to admit, so juicing is not something the best food for every day, but on a fasting day like today, I do it once a week. It is wonderful to get the energy, the beautiful juices, the delicious juices, and to always create something new because when the body is cleansed and the mind is purified, then it's also more creative. So let's see what it tastes like. Quickly give it a little shake, a stir, because it should be all even to be fair. <laughs> so let's see. It looks beautiful. The texture is beautiful. It's creamy, a little bit creamy, as I said, from the back of the pear usually. And the color is dark red. Ah, that's usually what it does with beet. And it's darker because of the basil, the green, that makes it darker. Beautiful, I, I mean, to me. And of course, uh, the beet greens too, they do that too. Let's see now what it tastes like, the most important thing. Mm. Good, good. I added a little bit of lemon peel, gives a nice lemony touch, and it's good. It's the healthiest part of the lemon, by the way, but I can't do too much because it gets bitter. But here is the juice. I used half a lemon peel or so. Here's the juice, let it have a look. Isn't that beautiful? I'm looking forward to that. And the beet juice is really giving power. Yeah, it's an endurance juice, so good fast in the end of the morning or so. Check it out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe and DV on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X. And Trioga Moon Fasting is on Facebook. Check it out. All the juices, the best fasting days, calendar. See you soon.